We take you to our big story that we're tracking today. Kasatu as well as Saftu are painting the streets of South Africa red. They're marching, demanding government takes action against an economic meltdown in the country. Unions are calling for an end to the jobs bloodbath, rising living costs as well as poor governance. Slindelo Masikana is in Pretoria for us and joins us with the latest. Slindelo, are the numbers increasing this hour as we expect them to now start marching ahead to the union buildings, their final destination? Well, I can definitely say that we've seen um, an increase in numbers here at Burgers Park. But like I said earlier, um, we're seeing what looks like two gathering points at the same place. So we're at Burgers Park where Kosatu and Safti have called on their members to come um, and meet before they march to the union buildings. But I'm on the side where Kosatu says that uh, this is the start point of the march. Um, at the other end of Burgers Park, that's where SAFTU uh, affiliates are being addressed at this point. Um, it's unclear, um, Fundo, to say whether SAFTU affiliates will be coming to this side of uh, the park where Kosatu um, is actually joined by law enforcement to begin the march from this end of the park. At this point, we are looking um, at around maybe... 300 people on Kosatu side. Um, I had, I have just uh, gone back to Saftu side to check out how many people are there, and it looks uh, around 200, 300 perhaps. We know on, on Saftu side they were talking about the fact that buses were only paid um, at 8 a.m. this morning, and that is why uh, they will possibly start marching a little bit after 10 a.m. So uh, at this point it's 10:09, um, and it does seem as though on Kosatu side preparation are uh, at this point uh, just being finalized. You can see that members are singing, they're dancing, um, and they're really getting ready to, you know, start this march officially. I want to maybe speak to this group of women. So thank you so much for your time, Bomama. Uh, Aning Jele, why did you feel that you had to come out today to the national shutdown? Why are you here today, Mama? No, it's a problem. Because Now, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe let me get you clear. Can you please maybe 
Um, how, how are you finding the cost of living? How, how is it getting by day to day? Are you able to survive? Are you able to make ends meet? Are you able to support your family? Do you have children? No, we have children, we have our wives, we have our houses that we need to maintain as the working class. And then since this particular administration came in, it is quite clear that now we are not getting what we are supposed to get. Now the increment that you are supposed to get, you didn't get it. And then the petrol hikes and the unemployment and then also not being given what you are supposed to do to be given. For instance, the performance, um, the performance bonuses that you are supposed to get, you didn't get those particular things. So it is quite sad because of now we are struggling as the working class and we cannot maintain our household as we used to and we are not being able to live as we were living uh, previously before this particular administration. So these petrol hikes are making us to suffer because of now we cannot be able to survive, especially in this particular era that we are finding ourselves in. All right, thank you so much. Sir. Thank you very much. All right, just some sentiments here on the ground, Mfundo, in terms of the issues, the struggles of the working class. I'm going to ask Tom Sagna to just uh, give you the picture of what I'm seeing in front of me where it does seem as though so any moment from now, uh, we will see this march starting to uh, move through the streets of the capital. We know that uh, Kosato itself says they want to move at around half past 10. Um, and of course, we know the issues around why this march has, uh, um, has been organized, the, the rising cost of living, uh, the fact that the working class is struggling to survive, uh, petrol is going up. Uh, uh, electricity tariffs are going up, um, water is scarce, and it just seems as though uh, the most affected are the ones who are most vulnerable, the ones who um, have families to feed, uh, who are just simply struggling um, in this economy. And this march is a, a, a sign to government to say that the working class has had enough and they want business, they want capital uh, to be taxed more, to be able to uh, relieve the pressure of the working class and uh, to actually provide some relief as government, um, um, as uh, in particular the ANC-led government. Uh, 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 those on the ground here are saying that uh, they need to do more, they need to step up in terms of actually uh, providing relief um, and ensuring that uh, the working class uh, is not living under these kinds of conditions. Mm -hmm. No, Sindelo will catch up with you in just a bit, hopefully at 10.30. We continue with